you may not see anything wrong along these vines. Each Chardonnay grape feels and smells plump and healthy. And at the far end, on the left side, you can see the smoke coming out of the tubes. But the smoke Tom Collins and his team pump continuously into this hoop house will likely leave a bad taste in your glass once it's turned to wine. When, when you have these smoke-affected wines, it can result in wines that we just can't sell. When smoke envelopes vines, compounds called volatile phenols, which cause the smell, seep into leaves and grapes. The compounds climb into the grapes' skin cells and bind with sugars. Collins and his team smoke half of these grapes around the clock and leave another set alone. They pick samples every few hours, then freeze them for a team in Pullman to study what genes are turned on by smoke and what happens when they're pressed for wine. They're also trying preventative sprays on the fruit to give growers an option when they know smoke is coming. We're seeing losses of fruit, losses of wine related to smoke exposure events. Not widespread every year, but there'll be enough instances that it's worth studying to try and reduce the amount of losses to these smoke events. From Prosser, Eric Azuko, King 5 News.